You can place windows in Revit architecture, and doing so is very simple. Windows are hosted in walls, so therefore we must have walls in our building model to begin placing them. You place windows in Revit architecture from the home ribbon bar on the build panel by using the window tool. You can place windows in plan, elevation, or 3D views. To place a window, activate the window tool. The options bar will populate with available options specific to placing windows. The Create Window Contextual Ribbon becomes active, and the current window type to be placed is listed in the Properties palette. You can change the type of window from those loaded in the project by clicking on the Types list. Let's examine the Modify and Place Window Ribbon. To find more windows, you would click on the Mode panel Load Family button. When placing a window, it can be tagged or not during creation. The Tag panel Tag on Placement tool is a toggle that has a darker background when it is enabled. Moving down to the Options bar, you can see that the tags can be placed either horizontal or vertical. There is a button to see which tags are loaded, and you can load others from the resulting dialog. If desired, you may enable a leader for the tag and specify its length. I will leave these as they are. In the Properties palette, you may specify the sill height to raise or lower the window in relation to the current associated level. Click Edit Type. These are unique parameters assigned to the default window type fixed. In the Type Properties dialog, there are parameters for changing the materials of the window. You can adjust the window, inset, and you can affect the default sill height to save time, and other parameters that will be useful for scheduling. I'll click Duplicate and name the new window type 60 inch by 54 inch. Set the height parameter to 54 inches and type 60 inches in the width parameter. Scroll down to see that the type mark has automatically incremented. Click OK to dismiss the dialog. Move your mouse into the drawing area and the cursor changes to a not available symbol until the cursor is directly over top of wall. Windows are hosted components and therefore can only be placed in walls. From the type selector, we see our new type is available. Pick on any wall and a window will be placed. You can flip the exterior side by clicking on the flip controls. Notice the mark value is the same as the window type mark in the previous dialog. The window command is like all commands and it stays active. So we may place another window by hovering over the exterior stair tower connector. When placing a window, the exterior side of the window is determined by the side of the wall that your cursor is touching when you pick. You may toggle the exterior side using the space bar before clicking. You can attempt to place the window accurately and if it is to be in the center of a wall, this is an easy thing to do. You may drag your cursor over the wall face and type the keyboard shortcut SM for a snap midpoint and pick. You may also keep your eye on the temporary dimensions and when the values are equal, you pick. Or, like the first window we placed, you may place a window quickly and then specify its location accurately. Select the stair tower window and then edit its temporary dimensions to align as desired. You change where the temporary dimension is measuring to by simply zooming in slightly and toggling the witness line location by clicking. You may also drag a temporary dimension witness line to a different element face or edge to accurately locate the window. I will ensure that it is measuring to the outside corner of the exterior wall. You may also toggle the window temporary dimension to measure from the opening width rather than the center. Type a distance of two feet from the north face of the main building 
to the window opening. After you've changed the dimension, you simply pick in the drawing area to deselect the window.